All right, so some molarity and molality questions are a bit more complicated because they don't start you off with how many moles of your solute you have. You're given what we can actually have tools to measure them in mass. So you'll have to do a molar mass conversion. So here's an example. You have 450 grams of lead chloride divided, dissolved in 0 0.450 liters of water. What is the molarity? All right. So molarity is moles divided by liters. We don't know moles directly from this, so we've got to calculate that. So quick view. All right. If you have x grams of whatever substance, all right, so this is meant to be a generic way of doing this. If you have 100 grams of substance AB, all right, to convert that to moles, you have to divide by the molar mass of your substance, all right, so divide by molar mass. Now, reminder, as far as how you find molar masses, this is where our periodic table is going to come in handy. All right, so for example, this one up here, we've got 12 grams of water. We need to know how many moles there are. All right, so if you look at your periodic table, the mass of a hydrogen is one. All right, I just round these to the nearest whole number. We've got two of those, so one plus one. And then oxygen has a mass of 16, so the molar mass equals 18. And then if I want to calculate moles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 12 grams and divide by my molar mass, which that I think gives me 0.67. Yep. All right, I'll do a couple more on the table here, but this is something that definitely is a review from chemistry a but if it's something you don't remember strongly and you need some further help with come to a help session i'm happy to do some more practice with you all right so for this first one what i need is the mass of magnesium plus the mass of chlorine twice all right the back of your laboratory guide has a periodic table you can also look one up on the internet Magnesium has a mass of 24.3, so I'm just going to throw 24 on there. And then chlorine is 34, or sorry, 35.4, so I'm going to put 35, which ends up being, I believe that adds up to 94. Yeah. All right. So to calculate the moles, I'm going to take this value, the 234, and divide by my molar mass, which gives me 2.5 moles of MgCl2. All right, so for this next one, I need carbon plus oxygen twice. So it's gonna be 12 plus 16 plus 16, which is gonna be 44. So I'll do 21 divided by 44. Didn't do that right. There we go. 0 0.48 moles. All right, do one more. So NaCl, I need to add sodium plus chlorine because there's one of each. Sodium's 23, chlorine's 35, which is gonna give me 58. All right, so I'll take the 145 divided by 58. Sorry, my voice is cracking. And that gives me 2.5 moles. Okay. So, quick review there. Now let's see how we can do this to actually solve our problem. Again, if you remember, molarity is moles divided by volume. All right. Now, to get the moles of PBLC2, I'm going to do this one in a different color for you. All 
All right, so to get that, I need lead plus two chlorines. Lead is 207 plus 35 plus 35, which equals 277 grams per mole. So I will have 450 divided by 277, which equals 1.6. 62 moles of lead chloride. So if I come back over here to my molarity equation, I'm going to put 1.62 on top. My volume is 0 0.45. And that's going to give me 3.61 molar lead chloride. All right, so if you're giving grams, that means you can do it. It's just there's going to be this extra calculation that you have to do before you can plug it in. So same thing can happen with molality. You might be giving grams of your solute, and we've got our kilograms of water, which we can leave alone, but we need to convert this 329 kilograms to moles. So sodium, Na plus Cl, 23 plus 35, which is 58. So we're going to do 329 divided by 58, which gives me 5.67 moles. And then my... Molality is equal to moles over kilograms. So I'm going to plug this in for moles, 5.67, and 12 for kilograms. And that's going to give me 0 0.47 molal sodium chloride. So hopefully this is making sense. But of course, if it is not, please let me know. Because you will have to do some of these calculations on your own.